So we've been trying to do the lemon, uh, lemon battery attempt once again this year, and we haven't had as much luck. We've run into a snag. Our target is to get to five volts and at least one amp of current out of our lemon cell batteries, but we've been hitting some trouble. So we found that when we have two lemons stacked together in series, theory would tell us that the voltages would stack. So if I got you know, uh, half a volt from this battery and I got half a volt from this ba uh, battery, they should add together to make one volt. Uh, but when we stack them all the way up to try and get to five volts, we weren't seeing that rule um, uh, showing, uh, showing up. We found that even if we added more, we didn't necessarily get more and more voltage. We suspected that perhaps the internal structure of the lemons, even though we crushed them and rolled them and all that to try and uh, make the juice inside all free to flow, we think that maybe that juice was still stuck. So the students were ooh, very keen yesterday to basically juice them. So we've got some uh, lemons, some orange juice. I think somebody had a blood orange. Uh, we've juiced them. We're going to try it again, but this time we're going to uh, replace the lemon batteries with lemon juice. So we'll have little beakers. We're going to fill them with the juice, divide it up, and then we can stick our nail and copper wire. And we'll see if we can get the total five volts we need. And if we can, we'll see how many chains we're going to need to get a, a target of one amp. All right. So we got our copper wire and we got our iron nails and we're going to use our two electrodes. Oh, did it fall in? Good one. Oh, Try, no. that. Try this one. <laughs> that one's no good. Oh, hang on, hang on, fellas. Yeah. This we got it to but it needs to get back Copper. to do some work and I have to go for like Why do you feel master? Uh, every table. Oh, it feels like you come here more. Your table's the only one just happens to be ruining the uh, oranges right now. Yeah. You mean lemons? Lemons. Can we get a light bulb? Yeah, I can get a light bulb. Yeah. Can get a light bulb. Yeah. I think yeah. Oh, it's Yeah, it's not working. So we've got some results. We weren't able to link all the beakers together like we used to with all the lemons on the big bench, like, uh, like last year's students did. But by looking at some of the, uh, the measurements we've taken from the chains that we were able to make, uh, the largest chain uh, one team was able to make was 10 beakers in series. That means they're placed one after each other like this, which means that their voltages should stack together. Um, and the best they could create uh, with the resources we had to, do, uh, to work with was just shy of five volts. And that is good enough for our target of getting five volts for a iPhone charger. We needed to have enough amps, so I then challenged them, could you then measure how many amps are we getting out of that chain? When we put it onto the multimeter, which are these devices, okay, when we had on the multimeter, we got zero, zero, zero. So either something's not working in the circuit or the current is so tiny that it wasn't sensitive enough. So I readjusted the settings and went more sensitive, more sensitive, more sensitive, till we finally got a reading of how much current that chain of 10 beakers of lemon juice was able to create. 38 microamps. <laughs> how tiny is a microamp? It is, if I convert that to amps, that'll be 0 0.00000 38 amps. So that's not very much. Now the question is, how many lemons would it take? If we had infinite lemons to work with and infinite time, how many would it take? Let's go over to the board here. If, I tr if my target is at least one amp to charge my iPhone, and each chain is only giving me this much, how many multiples of this chain am I, I gonna need? So I did a quick division, and the answer of how many lemon chains we would need would be 26, Thousand three hundred and fifteen chains of lemons. And if each chain is ten beakers, or ten lemons, times that by ten, we would need two hundred and sixty thousand. Oh no no no, that's bad. That's bad uh, multiplication here. Three one six zero. So two hundred sixty three thousand one hundred and sixty lemons to have enough voltage and enough current to charge an iPhone.
what can we say, what can we conclude about this test? Is it realistic when somebody shows on YouTube plugging their medals into a lemon and then underneath the desk they have a cable linked to their iPhone charging? What can we say about that video? Real. Myth. Real. Myth confirmed or busted? I think it's... Uh, myth is real, sir. It's busted. Absolutely busted. <laughs> One lemon is not going to do it. But, you know, a quarter of a million lemons, you might be able to. Thanks, guys.